Hey y'all, it's your friend D and I'm back with another haul. All of these items are from Timu. Now I ordered these during their after Christmas sale. I believe I ordered on December 27th, took advantage of free shipping, got them in like nine days and it's January 12th. So I've had these for a little while, um, but I will share the prices that I pay for them. Just know that it's been a few weeks and the price is may have fluctuated so let's get into this so the first item i have for you is this 10 pack of mixed drinks and it did say 10 pack but there's only nine in here so i'm missing one i paid a dollar 98 for these so let's open these up so here's the little pink drink and it comes in a glass with a straw and you have the little boba tea pearls at the bottom and I think all of these are supposed to be keychains because each one, each glass has a little hole. I'm not sure if you can see that little hole there in the front. Right there, yeah. So each one has that. Here's the green one. And this kind of reminds me of the color of a green smoothie. Okay, then you have this. On camera, it's coming off more of a, like a cream color, but it's really a lighter green. Then here we have a lighter pink color. We have a blue and a purple. So here's the drink with a doll holding it. So it's a pretty good size. Next, we have this keychain that is another boba tea drink, but it's in like a little mason jar and you have your straw with the little boba teas at the bottom, boba tea pearls and a handle. So I'm going to see if I can get this off. Um, so I'll be back and I'm back. It was pretty easy to take this off. I just used my needle nose pliers and here's the drink with the doll. And I think it's a pretty good size. I thought it was going to be a little too big, but I still think it looks good. Um, just looks like she's having a large mason jar of boba tea. And I paid 75 cents for this little keychain. And this was the only color that it came in. Next, we have this two pack of kitchen tools. And I paid 48 cents for these. There was another pack that you got, I think, three more items in. But um, I was trying to keep my order at a certain minimum because, you know, it's just after Christmas and I didn't want to just go crazy spending. So I decided to just go with this one. So here's the cutting board and it's pretty decent size. And I do believe in the description, it said these were 112 size. But um, here we have Kanja. And yeah, I think that that's a, a good size for her. So here's the rolling pin. And I like the little detail on it. And here it is with the doll. I think it's a pretty good size. So next we have this rice cooker and it was labeled as a 112 scale item. But when I saw the measurements on the screen, I knew it could work with my 1 6 scale dolls. Um, now, it is supposed to be a rice cooker, but you can easily use this as a slow cooker. And let me turn it around so you can see how it looks on all the sides here. And you have these little faux um, lights. This does not move. The lid does come off. There's the inside. Here's the lid. And it has the little hole for the steam. Have silver rim. And then here's the bottom of the cooker. It has little feet. So I think it's pretty well made. And like I said, I paid $2.69 for this. Oh, and it comes with a um, rice scooper, rice paddle. So here's the rice cooker next to a doll. And as you can see, it's a really good size. 
Next, we have a microwave oven. This was listed as a 112 scale um, item. And so I knew it was gonna be too small for uh, fashion dolls like Barbie, you know, uh, any one six scale doll. But I thought it could make a really nice uh, toaster oven. So I went ahead and got it. So here's the back. And the bottom, I don't want to tip it over because it has some items inside. But here's the bottom of it. The little knobs do work so they can turn. And when you open it up, the racks do come out and they have these little pans. So it comes with these two little uh, square silver trays. Here's inside the oven. So you have those little racks and they do move when you pull the door down and when you push the door back, it pushes the racks back in. Here's the oven next to the doll. So you can really see that it's more of a toaster oven than a regular size oven. But I think it would be really cute on the counter of the doll kitchen whenever I get that made. Next, we have these lollipops, and I paid 39 cents for this packet. So guys, here's the little lollipop, and I'm having a hard time getting the camera to focus on it. I tried to put a white sheet of paper behind it, and it still barely would focus on it. And if I bring it too close to the camera, um, it just gets blurry, but they're teeny tiny. So let's see what it looks like with the doll. So guys, here she is holding the lollipop, and I still think it's a pretty good size. It's really, really small. And it kind of reminds me of those Dum Dum uh, lollipops. Next, I have this bust of Venus. It was 78 cents. And they had so many to choose from. I really, really liked these. And if you remember last time in my haul, I ordered this from Timu. I really wish these were bigger because that would look really nice on top, but as you can see, it's just too short. <laughs> but I do have plans for these. Um, for now, I am going to put her on the mantle. Oops, hit the camera. And she came with some little marks on her, but um, I think I can get those off with some soap and water. Um, there's a little mark there, and then there's one there. But I think it's really, really nice. And I'll probably order some more of these because um, I think the quality for $0.78 cents is pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put her on the mantle. Yeah, I think she looks really nice up there. So next, we're going to go over all of the clothes that I bought. And I actually got something for Ken, guys. So let's take a look at that first. So this is the Ken doll clothing, and it came packaged really nicely. Um, I remembered to write down the seller for this. It was a Lucky Town. And so let's open it up. So guys, it was in the packaging, folded nicely. The shirt is folded around the jeans. So guys, I am in love with this outfit. Um, I think it's really good quality. As you can see, the shirt has a collar. There, there are a little bit of stray threads there, but it's not bad. Um, I still think this is very well made. It's two different fabrics. So you have this kind of like a knit, kind of feels like a t-shirt fabric. And then this more of a it's a cotton fabric. I'm not sure if it's made out of cotton, but um, it's a little bit stiffer, but it's not hard. And then it Velcros in the back. And then he has these jeans on. There's not any pockets. And it Velcros in the back. And they had these in the uh, jeans in several different uh, colors like washes, uh, lighter washes, medium wash, and you could get the pants in green, white, and I think there was a camel also. But 
the shoes were something I already had, but they do, they are a good length. So, yeah, I, I really like this. I think it's a really nice outfit, and I will be ordering some of these again, because usually Ken doll clothes are, you get like t-shirts and shorts, and I paid $2.69 for this. So here's a pink dress, and I do have this in red. I shared it with you in my last haul. Um, I paid $1.98 for this. I think this was on sale from the from when I bought the red one. But it's a, just a really cute little dress. I thought the pink would be perfect for spring. So it has these really nice puff sleeves. Velcro's in the back. And I don't think this would be able to fit a curvy Barbie because as you can see, it's the, um, there's not a lot of room um, when I was Velcroing it. There's just, this fabric doesn't have a lot of stretch. So it's, it's fitting her um, pretty good, but there's just not a lot of room for a curvy across the chest area. There's not gonna be a lot of uh, room for a curvy Barbie. Here's another Barbie outfit. Um, or one six scale doll outfit and I can't remember the buyer or the seller's name for this but uh, it's listed as office lady fashion and there are several of these outfits under that title by the same seller and I love the pants because they're longer and in the pictures they always have these on integrity toy dolls so I knew this was going to be a little longer on my Barbies which I like because when you have heels on, it just looks better. But here's the shirt. And I noticed that on the side here, if I can show you, there is a little speck right here. It looks like um, maybe the fabric got caught in the sewing machine. And I don't know if they hadn't cleaned their machine in a while and, and some oil or something got on it. But I think I can get that out. But I do like the outfit. Um, the belt's okay, but I, I like the top. It Velcro's in the back. The pants also Velcro in the back. And these are sh more straight leg pants. They're not wide leg, um, like the other ones that I got. And like I said, they go, that's her with heels on. And because most Barbie pants would have been like right here to her ankle. So I like that these are longer. And the material for this is pretty nice. It's got some stretch to it. Not a lot, but there is some there. And here's a closer look at the top. So here's uh, the next outfit. And this is in the same office lady fashion um, series or, or group as the other outfit. And it's not my favorite. I think the top looked better in the pictures. And it's like a little crop top. So you have the armholes there. It Velcro's in the back. And I just think they should have put a top stitch along here and it would help this to lay down better. I paid $1.98 for this also. The pants are, I like the pants. Um, it's almost like a mesh material. You can kind of see through it a little bit. Um, these would definitely fit a curvy Barbie because there is actually a lot of space left in these for her, I think. And, and it has enough stretch to where a curvy Barbie could wear these. And it also Velcros in the back. I didn't do a good job of Velcro in it, but, and they're long also. So I like that about them, that they're not stopping at her ankle. And these are more of a wide leg pants. So yeah, I'm really liking that, the pants. Um, the shirt, not so much. So I may have to sew a, a top stitch down on that myself. So here is another outfit for the Barbie. 
and I paid $1.98 for this also, and it's called the Daily Wear Wit Jacket. And I really just wanted the jacket because I don't have a lot of uh, jackets and coats for my dolls. And this one is okay. I mean, you get what you pay for. And I still think it's a good deal, $1.98 for an entire outfit like this. Um, but there are some loose strings here and there throughout the outfit, like here. And the inside, the jacket is not completely lined. Um, so you have a lot of little loose strings. But I still think it's a nice jacket. So here's the outfit without the jacket. And it comes with this little, like, tube top. But it has these clear straps, which are way too big uh, for my doll. So um, you have all this extra plastic here. And the, the top itself is a little bit bigger. So I don't know if this was made for Integrity Toy Dolls or... Um, or what it might fit a curvy Barbie better now the pants will definitely not fit a curvy a curvy Barbie uh, they're a little tight on her and there we see some more loose thread um, they're a little snug in here so there's not a lot of room left but they are a wide leg the fabric is really soft it's like a like is it rayon? What is that? Rayon? Yeah. Um, so, and it comes down. They're, they're long. So, I think they'll look nice in, in pictures once they're pressed. So, guys, that was everything that I purchased from Timu. I think the rice cooker is definitely my favorite. And then the Ken clothes. Yeah, I, I really like the Ken clothes, too. Um, so let me know in the comments below what was your favorite and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.